3 secret tricks that you probably didn't know about. Hey guys and welcome! So, in today's episode we're gonna do a quick rundown of couple of tricks that you probably weren't aware of. If you've been playing Battlefield series for a while, there is a chance that you saw some of those tricks in the previous games, but trust me, whether you are a new player or a veteran of Battlefield, everyone will learn at least one more new thing in this video. So without talking anymore, let's get to it. Trick number one. How do you avoid automatic spawn at the beginning of the round? You probably noticed it, right? Every single time the round starts, you get automatically deployed onto the battlefield and yet somehow there is people out there who spawn directly into the vehicles even though those are not available right when you join the round and you have to first wait for the round to start for the vehicles to appear. Well, there's actually a simple solution to that. All you have to do is spawn, yes, you have to actually spawn on the map and then when the timer at the top of the screen shows that there is about 5 seconds left for the round to start, you have to redeploy through the menus. Don't worry, you will not have an extra death added to your statistics because technically the round hasn't even started yet. And what's better, the cooldown which usually would hold you back from spawning immediately into the game after you dined will now block the game from the auto deployment, meaning you will now be able to spawn straight into the vehicle or customize something extra in the menus if you need more time. Tip number 2. As we all know, Battlefield 5 introduced the reinforcements available to the squad leader. Now, did you know that you can in fact steal someone's position as a squad leader if they're not doing their job? All you have to do is hold the Comoros button, on PC it's going to be Q, I'm not really exact sure what the button is on consoles, but you basically have to bring up this menu and request the order. If the leader doesn't give you an order to either attack or defend certain objective in the next minute or so, not exactly sure about the right timing, but it's around a minute to 90 seconds, I suppose, you will get their position. And what's even better, you will get all of the points they've been farming as a squad leader to get the sweet V1 at the end of the round. So, it's a win-win. They're not doing their job, you're taking their points and their position. Therefore, free V1 for you. Also remember that once you claim the squad leader spot, you actually should give the orders to your squad so that there isn't anyone else who will steal your squad leader position. Anyway, on to the third trick. Did you know that you can in fact jump further in Battlefield 5 and all you have to do is manually deploy the pull-up animation? How do you do it? Well, that's rather simple. You have a big obstacle that you want to jump over, such as, I don't know, let's say, this hole in the bridge, right? It's quite big. If you would jump normally, as in press the jump button once, you will not make it. You will not actually make it. But if you are in the air and you are about to reach the point where you will just fall down and not make it, press the jump button again. You will trigger the animation which will pull up your character onto the object and therefore you will actually be on the other side of the bridge instead of swimming in the water. I know many players know that the mechanic is in the game, but not that many are actually aware of how to trigger it and how to use it effectively. Now, what's even better? If there is an enemy chasing you on the staircase, you can actually jump out of the window on one level and jump back in using this animation a level below them so that you can actually flank them and get them from behind. I actually don't have a clip of doing it mid-combat because I don't really play Rotterdam that much and it's most useful on that map, but that's basically the example of how you can do it. Just imagine that there is enemy somewhere there on the staircase. And, and that's pretty much it for this episode of the secret tricks in Battlefield 5. I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did, before you click off, let me know about it down in the comments and I'll make sure to prepare more episodes like this. And as always, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the battlefield!